What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome today to a brand new video and my first video, technically I suppose, on FIFA 17. If you do enjoy this match, you'll leave a big thumbs up on the video. That would be massively appreciated because uh, it's been a couple of videos since we've done some FIFA really. There's been a bit of Pokemon Go on the channel but I've come back around to FIFA looking at now some potential superstars for FIFA 17. Mainly for career mode. These are all players that I think have got huge, huge potential. So you could pick them up at the start of, the, uh, at the start of your career mode save and by a few seasons, by the time they sort of come into their prime, they could be challenging for that 90 rated player. These are all players with massive futures in real life, you would imagine. But um, one thing that I want to quickly say, I've used the FIFA 16 cards and put on some stats on them before I think that could roughly be at the start of FIFA 17. Don't read too much into the stats, it's just a, a, a very rough guess. But if you are someone out there that does FIFA 17, has done, sorry, some FIFA 17 concept card designs, let me know, and if they're good enough, I will use them in my next video of this kind of thing. So it could be sort of upcoming legends, anything like that. I don't know what I'm going to do next. But um, if you've got some good FIFA 17 concepts, hit me up with them on Twitter, at NichePlayers, or let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, I will give you credit in the next video as well. But um, without any further ado, let's get stuck into this. So uh, we're starting off with goalkeepers. I've basically done two players for each area of the field, if that makes sense. So the two goalkeepers we're going to be looking at are Jack Butland and uh, Donnarumma. Now, we'll start off with Jack Butland. Of course, he's had an incredible season with Stoke this year. Had a bit of an injury worry. At, well, got, got got injured at one part of the season, but still had an incredible year. Got a team of the season card, and I can see him being an 80 at the start of next season. Uh, next FIFA, I should say, sorry. And definitely someone that could easily get in the high 80s, low 90s. Because you look at his stats now, he has got so many years ahead of him as well. Definitely someone that's worth potentially picking up. And the fact that he plays to Stoke as well, no offence to Stoke, but if you're someone like a Chelsea, a Man United, an Arsenal, a Barcelona, just any of the big teams, really, you should be able to acquire him reasonably easily. Now, the second goalkeeper we're looking at is Donnarumma, the guy that's just broke through at AC Milan. And I say broke through, this guy is 16 years old, maybe 17 years old now. Absolutely incredible. He's been playing first team football for Milan. He's been playing at a decent level. And I think he could get a high silver rate card. I'll give him a 74, but I can see him being like between 72 and 74 myself. I don't think he'll be a gold. But the fact is, to be that highly rated at the age of 17 or 16, I'm not quite sure how old he is as I record this, but I know he was 16 when he broke into the Milan team. He's ridiculous. And in my opinion, if you were to buy him, he would comfortably, comfortably hit that 90 mark. Because you've got like literally potentially 20 years with him so even if he only goes up like by one each time you still look well that, that'd be it that'd be a 94 which would be absolutely ridiculous but um yeah like just so much potential in that card it's going to be interesting to see how much milan would want for him on career mode next season i hope ea have fixed it where you can't get them for a steal if that makes sense and you are having to pay the price for the guy's potential because he does look like he's got a huge future ahead of him but they're the two goalkeepers i went for next up on the list we've got a couple of defenders and those actually two defenders i say i'm not sure about the one you can see on screen now we've got john stones obviously hotly tipped this year to break through and he's had a bit of a quiet season to be honest he's a 77 this year and i can see him maintaining that card rating and keeping that rating in career mode for this season i don't think he's done enough to, to warrant going up he might even drop down one in my opinion i just don't think he's had a great season but you still have to bear in mind the age he's at the rating he's at already so much potential and he's one of those that on career mode this year was always or always going to be one that people picked up and I think he's going to be exactly the same next year. Big future ahead of him in real life. I just ho hope he sorts himself out of it because in my opinion, although he's got the potential, he's got a little bit of an attitude problem in, in my opinion, but uh, still got a massive future if he plays his cards right. And next to him, we've got Joshua Kimmich who's broken them into the Bayern Munich team. And this is an interesting one. So I've got him down as a centre-back, but I, I don't know. I've seen him play both centre-back and central defensive midfield. So let me know in the comments section if you think he's more of a, like a, a jabby along so he sits really deep in front of the centre-backs or if he's a centre-back. I've seen him play both roles, but again, 75 card I've given him. He's currently a silver. Got shot, he got he's shot up in this year's FIFA. He's had a massive upgrade and I think he's going to get nudged up again. And you look at his card and it'd be a strange one because he's one of these defenders where he's more of a ball-playing CDM, but like I say, I've play, seen him play at centre-back. So it'd be interesting to see if you could have a centre-back with higher passing than potentially defending because his passing is absolutely outstanding. And like I say, the main thing really is, is he a centre-back or is he a CDM? But uh, let me know that in the comment section down below. But another one, without doubt, centre-back or CDM, still a great player to pick up. Lots of potential on the game. Lots of potential in real life. He is going to be a superstar in the future. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Uh, coming up next, we've got a couple of midfielders. And those, uh, 
sorts of obvious ones really. We've got Yuri Tielemans, who's always been a god on FIFA as far as, and Football Manager actually, as far as potential is concerned. He's breaking through in Andelect in real life. I think Andelect have done well to keep him for as long as they have, but I can see him going somewhere. If not this summer, next summer definitely, because he's got so, so much potential. You look at his card, I bumped him up to 78, and his age again, so, so young, playing regular football on the European stage, can only mean great things for a player. I mean... Huge, huge future ahead of him. Like I say, on FIFA this season, he's had it. On Football Manager for years now, he's been an incredible talent. And I just hope he manages to fulfil that in real life. But next to him, we've got a player that had a great, great, uh, not World Cup, Euro, sorry, I went to say World Cup then. And that is Renato Sanchez. Of course, just got a big money move to Bayern Munich. And if he plays regularly, lads, he's another one. In real life, I'm talking now, he could have an absolutely massive future ahead of him. I've actually got him then as a CDM, but I think in hindsight, it's probably just more of a flat CM. Does a bit of box-to-box -box work going forward and backwards. But um, yeah, huge future ahead of him. Of course, not on FIFA this year, I don't believe, but definitely someone that next season... I, th I think he's on career mode, but not on ultimate team. But he's going to be bumped up without doubt on ultimate team and career mode. And he's got a massive future ahead of him in, lot, in real life and on the game again. I mean, if he's around the 77, 78 mark, which is what I think he's going to be, he could again be another one easily challenging for around that 90 mark and be a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder for your career mode team for years and years and years. But they're the two midfielders I went for. Next up, we've got a couple of wingers, and they are going by Leroy Sane, who's had a breakthrough season at Schalke, and also Kingsley Coman, who I think you could argue he's almost already a superstar man. He's broke through into Bayern Munich. He had a fantastic Euros, if you ask me. And he is a player that, without a doubt, could easily get to a 92 or 93 rated player on career mode, in my opinion. He's just that good. He's going to have incredible potential next season. Got the boost up on Ultimate Team this year, of course, got the upgrade. And I just think he could easily surpass the 90 mark, because, I mean, what a player he is, lads. So a player of his age, he'll be playing regularly at Bayern Munich, and then lighting up the Euros like I did, because, in my opinion, he was one of France's best players when he featured... He's just absolutely outstanding. And next team, we've got another youngster, Leroy Sane, has had a breakthrough season at Schalke. Still very young, of course, as all these players are. Linked with moves away to Man City, the team I support is one of them. And uh, just a few of the European teams linked with him as well. But it'd be interesting if he does go to see if he plays regular first team football. The thing is, when you're this young, you want them to be playing week in, week out to fulfill the potential. And that's something that Sane definitely needs to be doing. And again, he's going to be one that could easily, in my opinion, get to around the 87, 88, maybe even 89, 90 mark on career mode. A lot of potential, very good winger, he's got the pace, he's got the dribbling, he's got all that you need really, apart from the 4 star skill moves, which in my opinion, he will also get in FIFA 17, he'll have that upgrade. But the last two we're going to be looking at, the Manchester rivals if you like, the two strikers, we've got Kalija Iheanacho and Marcus Rashford. Iheanacho has had an absolutely stunning season in my opinion, obviously I'm a Man City, Man City fan, so I'm a little bit biased, but he's played such little football, he's been thrown in in drips and drabs. Had a couple of stops and his goal return has been absolutely sensational. Of course, in career mode, he's already a player that he can pick up and he's got decent potential. can get up to, to the 85, 86 ratings, but I think he's going to get a massive boost next season. He's another one I could see being at 88, 89, 90 if you play him year in, year out, game in, game out. Because, I mean, you, you've only got to look what he did for us in real life last season. He's got a huge, huge potential and not just FIFA. Talking real life now, I hope he gets a big chance under Pep Guardiola this season. I think he's earned that chance. Hopefully he can get to play some regular first team football alongside Sergio Aguero. I think that can only be good for him. And talking about breaking through, Marcus Rashford, obviously the other player we've got here, the Man United striker, got in the England squad for the Euros. Didn't do much, didn't get much game time, but when he did, he looked decent. Did a lot more than most of the useless players for England. But um, yeah, he's got a huge future ahead of him, you'd imagine, the way he started off. Unless he filters away, like fizzles away, but honestly, I just can't see it. He looks like he's got bags and bags and bags of potential. Of course, he's not in Ultimate Team or career. In fact, I think he's in career mode now. I think, I think they might have put him in, in an update. I'm not sure on that, though. But either way... There's a few people that, people that have said he's going to be a gold player. I don't think he's going to be gold. I can see him being a 73 or a 74 silver. But nevertheless, he's going to have huge, huge, huge potential. And it's going to be interesting. If I, I don't know if it'll happen, but if Kalicha Iheanacho and Marcus Rashford both stay at their respective clubs for years to come, I think that could be an absolutely huge battle between the two Manchester clubs because the two strikers with amazing, amazing potential. And it would be really, really interesting to see that pan out. But, um... There are all the players that I'm going to do for now. Like I said, I did two free cherries that pitch. If you want to see me do more potential superstars, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you want to see me do something different, like potential legends, potential ratings of players, stuff like that, like a Man City potential player ratings, I don't know. Whatever you want to see, lads, just let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you do concept cards as well, if you've got some FIFA 17 concepts. If they're good enough, like I say, I will use them and give you credit for them in the next video that I do of this kind. And uh, that is going to wrap this video up, lads. So, like I said, so I hope you all did enjoy this video. Leave a thumbs up on it if you did. I will speak to you all in tomorrow's, lads. Have a great night. Nidge out.
Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.